quinoa salad with chicken, kale, and greens and fish and strawberries. So today we're at BR Takeout on Conquer Street in downtown Framingham. So I like BR. I found it probably two or three years ago prior to COVID and I went in one day and I couldn't really read the menu because it wasn't Portuguese but the owner was kind enough to translate the menu for me and I had a very nice meal and ever since then it's kind of been a favorite takeout. So you will find that they have gluten-free, um, traditional Brazilian meals and desserts are fantastic. And again, it's takeout. So today with COVID, we're tending to do a lot of takeout versus in uh, in restaurant dining and they deliver and you can do Grubhub so it's a great location easy to get to um, it's right here at Concord and Denison so one of the things that I like about Framingham is that years ago we used to refer to Framingham as the melting pot and I'm now beginning to realize that the south side of Framingham is our melting pot for us. There's a lot of diversity and in the renovations or the real violation of downtown Framingham, we're finding that the restaurants are becoming very ethnic. And that brings the diversity to the food. You can find all kinds of food here. Just a great environment. So I'm going to taste this now and I'll tell you about it after I have tasted it. So as we said, we got some grilled chicken here on top with the quinoa and the greens underneath. Mmm. And the vinaigrette that they put over it is delicious. So if you haven't tried BR Takeout, I highly recommend it. Another dish that I was looking at trying today was the zucchini spaghetti with chicken. Again, healthy eating is what we all are trying to do now, especially with COVID, because being in the house, we've gained pounds with all of the food that we've been eating. Hey, my name's Sean. I've been a Framingham resident for just under two years, uh, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit more about Exhibit A Brewery. So I wanted to be a part of this program today to talk about the, the breweries and the businesses in our downtown area that give a lot to our community and that we should give back to as well. So specifically to Exhibit A, it was one of the first places my wife and I visited when we moved to Framingham. And uh, it's a place that we can go to to watch live music, uh, to eat at the food trucks in their new beer hall or in their new uh, beer garden and see comedians in their beer hall and some more live music and a place for us during quarantine to, to safely break quarantine and uh, kind of get out of the house during the pandemic. Without Exhibit A, um, there'd be a big gaping hole for entertainment and places to eat and get a drink in the downtown area and especially for South, uh, the south portion of Framingham. So Exhibit A is a huge part of our community and a big part of my wife and I's life. So today, I wanna go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about one of my favorite beers that they make, uh, Goody Two Shoes. It's a Kolsch, a Kolsch style ale, which means it's a little bit of a lighter beer. So let's give it a taste and see how it goes. So super crisp, super light beer, a couple of hints of lemon in there and really just a great after work beer after a long day, come home and crack one and uh, a good way to relax. Uh, one of the many great beers that Exhibit A makes. So I would encourage you to stop by, pick up a four pack, try some. Um, thank you very much to folks that are gonna visit Exhibit A and thank you especially to Exhibit A for being a part of our community and cheers to you downtown. <laughs> 